Hey guys, welcome back to Building Security Breach in Minecraft. This is just a continuation of the previous episode, which we which we were just here to finish the rest of the walls. I don't really have anything else important to say, so let's just go ahead and continue on with the video. Now, we're gonna go ahead, since we have everything complete on this floor and the third floor, or, well, okay, the reason I'm not adding these walls on this side is because I'm saving this back wall for last, because it is a little bit different than all of the other walls. So, we're gonna go ahead and build in the main floor. We're gonna build on the outside of this area, so we're gonna build on the outside of here. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna need our black, our polished blackstone, along with our white concrete. So the design for this is pretty simple. Um, it can get confusing sometimes. The one problem, uh, if you're building this by hand, good luck. It's gonna take a lot of time, but it will be worth it in the end. So, I'm just gonna start where something is simple. So, let's start, like, somewhere here. I'm just gonna bring this out by, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just bring it out by seven blocks, and just make a small square, and I'll show you what the design will actually look like. So, if we fill this whole thing in... So the whole floor is going to be polished blackstone. Now the design is basically, we're using white concrete, and it is just a constant design kind of like this. It is not, it is not a, um, it is not a checker pattern, just to let you know, it is not a checker pattern, but it's more of a star kind of design. So what I mean by that, it looks something, it will end up looking something like this as the full design. So if we kind of make this full, a actual, like, full design it is going to end up looking i think you i think you know what it's going to look like i'm just giving you an example it's going to basically look like this this whole kind of star somewhat of a star shape just filling in all of these floors everywhere do not go past these doors because we're not going to add anything beyond those just yet it is going to fill in all around here fill under here do not fill the actual floor in here but fill it under this same thing going around here, under here. Do not fill in down here. This is a little bit different down here. We'll do that once we af actually have finished this main floor. And it's just going to come all the way around and stop right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add all of this in real quick. This may actually take some time for me too, because this is a big floor. And it is definitely pretty difficult. It's probably going to take a lot of time for most of you guys. So I'm going to finish this real quick, and I will show you what it looks like once it is all complete. So I'm going to go ahead and add all this in, and I will be right back. Well, there you have it. This is what the fully finished product should look like with the whole entire floor. It is this. It it did really take a while. I also have world that is to help me, and it still took a while. This is the exact same pattern that you should just have going throughout the entire thing. It's kind of like a checkerboard pattern, um, but this is the whole, this is what the finished product should look like. It will take a while, I am sure, because it really did take a while for me. So this is basically the whole thing finished. And now before we move on to this area down here, and then the stage and the cur stage curtains, we need to go ahead and build in this little this little booth that is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and go down. And we're gonna grab, we already have our red concrete, so we need our yellow, our red concrete. We are going to need our polished blackstone slabs. We're gonna need our gray, con gray concrete, our sea lanterns, our blue, um, our blue carpet. And we're gonna need a, we're gonna need some bars and dark oak trap doors. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and raise the yellow blocks up by two. We're then going to raise them up by two again on both sides. And then we're just going to go ahead and raise it up by one. And I believe it's just like one, two. I believe it looks like that. So we're going to do the same thing here. One, two on this side. One, two. And then one, two, three across the top. So it'll look like that. And then the red concrete will just cover up all of this and have one layer going across the top. So it will end up looking like this. And for this side, it's a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and add two blocks there on both sides like this. We then are going to go ahead and add two layers of red concrete on each side. So it should end up looking like this on both sides. We're going to add our gray. Um, we'll skip that for now. So on top is going to be all gray concrete. It's going to look like this. And then we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna place three rows of 
um, polished blackstone slabs, and three, lo uh, or is it, wait, no, it is five rows of polished blackstone slabs. And then on each side, we're gonna use our blue concrete. It is two layers, uh, or two rows of blue carpet. I said concrete, it's blue, uh, it's blue carpet. It will look like this. We're gonna need our gray carpet also. So the gray carpet will be right here. Same thing right here. Our sea lanterns, we're gonna have two sea lanterns on both sides, just like this on the inside. And then the top here, we're gonna make a little spotlight. Oh wait, also fix the carpet. So the spotlight, we're gonna go ahead and just use one bar. We're gonna actually, you know what, we'll just dig out an area here. So bars, we're gonna need sea, lan or, um, sea lantern. With the sea lantern, we're gonna place it right here. And then we're gonna go, just go ahead and place our um, dark oak trap doors around it. So it will, it will end up looking something like that. Or we can just go ahead and have that slab there so it will look floating. Or we could do something like this. So this is the spotlight that we're gonna have. Um, where we will go ahead and add the word party, um, with the banners in the decorating episode, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and move on to this area of the floor that's right down here. And before we do that, though, one spot we did miss, it, just in case if you, um, if you finish the floor, we're gonna need our black and white concrete again. All along just this side and the other side is a pattern of black and white concrete going along the whole edge just like this it is not just one row it is also two rows so and it's going to end up being two rows of a checkered pattern a checkered pattern that looks just like this it's going to continue going all the way to the end on this side and it is going to stop right here this is exactly where it is going to stop on this side and it's also going to be on this side as well just going down this side i'm going to go ahead and add in that add in that real quick you go ahead and add in that too and i will be right back Alright, once you have completed it, this is, should be the finished product. The outlines or the sides of the floors or stairs should be the uh, black and white checker pattern on this side as well, going all the way down to there. It is not going to be on the front of this side, only just these two sides. Now, real quick, before we get started on this, these two um, seating areas with the big trees, we're just going to fill in the floor for that, which is using magenta concrete powder. So... Use your magenta concrete powder to fill in this whole area and this whole area right here. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I will be right back. And there we go. I also have gone ahead and added some of the birch fences that just go around all of the purple concrete. And I've filled all of the flooring in. I've done that on both of these. So this is what they should look like once they are complete. Now we're going to go ahead and start working on this area down here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is grab your polished blackstone, and this is going to be a wall that comes down by two blocks right under the checkerboard pattern that is right here. So it's just going to line up on both sides, and it's going to stop right there. And you're going to go ahead and bring this all the way over to this side too, and do the exact same thing. And you're just going to stop right there. Now, we're not going to do it on this side, but what we're rather going to do is grab our red concrete and fill in these planters. So you can go ahead and just fill in the whole walls for the planters. This whole area will be filled in. Now, the top part, we're going to do a little bit differently. You don't need to fill in this back part. I'm just doing this because why not? Now, the top part, we're going to go ahead and add a layer of red concrete. And we're going to grab our gravel along with blue carpet. So we're going to add the gravel all along the inside like this. And then our blue carpet that will go along the sides that will look like this. So this is the finished planter. Now you're going to go ahead and do that with all of the other five planters there are. But before we do that, we're just going to go ahead and continue on the floors just a little bit. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to fill in all the planters, all the five remaining planters, just like this. And you're going to take this exact same floor design, the polished blackstone and the white concrete. And you're going to go ahead and do this exact same design and you're going to stop right here. This is where you are going to stop with the floor. So you're going to start with the floor over there and you're just going to continue adding that same exact floor design all the way until you get to here it's okay whatever it's a it's a one block difference i don't think anyone's going to notice it so yeah basically just stop right here on this side 
and just continue adding this exact same floor design all the way up until you get to there. And also fill in these planters. I will show you what it looks like when it's done, just in case if you are a little bit confused. It should not be that difficult to do, except for the actual floor part. So I'm going to build all this, and I will be right back. Alright, this is the finished product. As you can see, I have all six of the planters completely filled in, and the floor completely filled in with the same pattern that it went up exactly to here. Now, once you have gotten this complete, we're going to go ahead and move on to adding the actual areas for where all the party tables will sit. So we're going to need our black and white concrete, our purple concrete, and our magenta concrete powder. With our black and white concrete, we're going to go ahead and go down to this corner. We're going to skip two blocks down, and we are going to move, and we are going to move over, um, we're going to move over by, I think it is one, two, three, four, five, six. So right here is where we're going to start. And this is just going to be black and white concrete going all the way until it hits the other end, which is also going to be six blocks out to the edge. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And then the rest can go ahead and be filled in. And there we go. So it should end up looking like this. Now, the rest of the area, we're going to go ahead and dig a little outline here. So we're going to go ahead and break these blocks all the way up to... I, I want to say it's probably about... Okay, like right here, and we skip one, two, three, four. So it's going to end up being um, four blocks away, I think. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go ahead and add our black and white concrete again. So this is going to continue... And we're going to stop right there. And then the rest of this is just going to, you can go ahead and fill this whole area in. And we're going to continue just digging this area out, or the outline for it. We're going to come all the way from here, and we're going to line it up right here. And this is the area that you are going to dig out. So you're going to go ahead and dig this whole area out real quick. And on top of that, you are going to go ahead and add your purple concrete all under it because that is where we're going to then place our magenta concrete powder on top of it. So you're going to go ahead and do all of that. You're going to dig this area out, place your purple concrete under, and your magenta concrete powder above that, and it, it should end up looking like this. Here is the finished result. So I have completely dug out this whole area, placed the purple concrete below, and added magenta concrete powder on top of it. This is the finished product and what it should look like. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat this same thing a second time, except we're going to need more space with this floor. I don't know why I didn't have you guys just fill in the rest of this floor, but before we do this, we need to raise these purple concrete blocks down until it matches up with the wall and just literally extend this whole entire floor until it lines up right here. It may take a little bit more time, but we're going to have to do that anyway. So go ahead and expand this floor out until it reaches there, and I will be right back. All right, there we go. I have now extended this floor until it got out just through this area, and that is where we are, we are going to stop for now. Now, we're going to go ahead and copy this exact same thing and do it a second time. So what we're going to do, we're gonna, we are going to come down to this end right here, and we're going to come down and make sure it's lined up just right here. So skipping three blocks, and we're going to come out one, two, three, four. And right here, it should be lined up, and this is where we are going to place our, oh wait, this is not, my bad. This is where we are going to place, so we're skipping one, we're skipping one, two, three, four. On five and six is where, we, is where we are going to place our black and white concrete. This is the area, one, two, three, four, where we're gonna have our magenta concrete. So this, we can go ahead and just, this is where we are going to bring out all of our, why does this look so off? So this is just where we're going to place our checkerboard pattern, just like we did on the other side. And it is going to line up on the exact same side. It should line up right to there. And then this is just going to repeat the same thing, just going all the way to the other side. And then once we have done that, we're going to go ahead 
and bring this whole thing out until it gets to the red concrete here. We're then going to skip one, two, three, four, and then place our checkerboard pattern once again. And then once you do have that, we're going to go ahead and just continue digging this area out. And we're going to dig right up to the end of the checkerboard pattern, and then just line it up exactly over here. And this is the area that we are going to completely dig out and do the exact same thing like we did over there. We, we... One, two, three, four. It's one block off, and that is fine. You don't need to worry about it. I had this three blocks instead, one, two, three, and then this. That's fine, don't worry about it, it's not that big of a deal. So, once you do have this, just go ahead and we're going to do the exact same thing like we did over there. Dig out this area, place the purple concrete below, and then the magenta concrete powder on top. Once you have done that, I will show you what it looks like when it is done, so I will be right back. And this is what the finished product should end up looking like. You have one on this side and one on this side. Now that we are completely finished with this main part of the floor, we are going to move on to making the actual stage. Now the stage is actually pretty simple. All we're going to need is our red concrete. We are- let's get rid of all this. All we are going to need is our red concrete, our pink concrete, our orange concrete, lime concrete, our- actually, you know, we're going to need our magenta concrete, and we are going to need polished and inside too. So the first thing, we're just going to place one layer of red concrete going along the whole outside except for this part. So we're just going to, you know, first thing, along the whole stage lifts, like where all the animatronics get lifted into the air, we're just going to add one extra layer of gray concrete going along the whole outside just like this. And there we go. And then with our red concrete, we're going to go ahead and just add an extra layer of red concrete on top of the rest of the gray concrete. So it should end up looking something like this. Now, back here, we're just going to add one extra layer of gray concrete and one extra layer of red concrete on top of that. And then we're going to go ahead and fill this whole area in with red concrete, which should end up looking something like this. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, pink concrete. We're going to fill this stage lift in on the, on the right, then orange concrete to fill this stage lift in on the right. We're then going to grab our magenta concrete for Roxy's, and we're going to place this in on the left, and then for Monty's, just place our lime, which will end up looking like this. Now, with our polished end in sight, we are going to go ahead and go to the very back and skip two blocks, and this should be directly into the center. We're going to go back and skip two blocks, so we're going to place one, two, three, just like this, kind of lining up in the center, and I believe... It is going to be seven blocks, so adding two on the sides. So the three in the center and two on the sides, that is seven blocks in total. Total. We're then going to place one block on each side, and then seven blocks again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to place one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we can go ahead and fill this whole area in with our polished end in sight. Once we have this whole area filled in with our red concrete, we're going to go ahead and come down to this corner. We're going to place one, two, or one, two, three blocks just like that. It will look something like, or wait a minute. It is, going to end, it is going to end up looking something similar to that. This will connect just like this. It's going to kind of look like this, or actually. Hold on a sec. Something is wrong. If we bring this out one more, we get rid of the three in the middle. It should end up looking like this. Then we're going to go ahead and place one extra layer on top. We are then going to go ahead and place one, two, and three, and then one extra one on top. So you should have this kind of triangle sort of shape. Not exactly sure how to describe it, but it should end up looking like that. We're then going to grab our sea lantern and our light blue carpet. We, With our sea lanterns, we're going to go ahead and kind of make a lightning bolt. So just place one concrete there. We are going to place... Let's see, one, two, one, two, three. Um, I'm not sure if it is something like that. Oh, wait, wait a minute. It's three blocks down, one to the side, and one to the side, just like that. And then our light blue concrete, or light blue carpet, covering it. So it should end up looking like this. Now, for the button, I'm just going to go ahead and grab our warped button and place that right in the center. So it should end up looking like this. Now, for the stairs on the side, we're going to go ahead and grab our deep slate tile stairs and right here we are going to place one two three one two three 
and we'll just keep that open we're gonna do the same thing on this side one two three one two three so it should look like that and then in the very center one two three one two three so it should end up looking like this and then we'll go ahead and later when we decorate add the fences around the actual stage but for now this is what it's going to end up looking like and now let's just go ahead and add in the actual curtains so clearly we already have kind of the outline for it you are just going to go ahead with your black wool is just raise up all of these pillars of the black wool until at least until at at least hits a point where it cannot go up anymore and it is completely covered you're just going to go ahead and do this with the whole entire curtain and i'm sure you know what it's going to end up looking like just keep doing this whole th pattern all throughout until you get to this end and i'll be right back and i'll show you what it looks like and there we go that is the fully completed stage and the main curtain that is behind the stage now just to finish off this episode we're going to go ahead and add this very back wall and i have saved this for last for a reason because this is a different type of wall it's not exactly like everything else it has two different layers one of them being this layer and there is another layer that's going to be behind it kind of having a planter effect that is actually it that actually is a planter so what we're going to start out by doing we're going to need our magenta concrete and our purple slabs and we're literally just going to go ahead and raise this up by one two and three so three blocks raised up going all the way around and once you have made it to the end it should end up looking something like this four blocks high in total and we're gonna go ahead and grab our birch door and from the very end we're gonna from this spot right here coming down to this corner we're gonna skip one we're gonna skip one two three four five on the sixth block we're gonna dig out a little area here place some magenta concrete behind it we're gonna go ahead and add in black concrete place this here go back in place our black concrete and our birch door right there now we're gonna go ahead and place your purple slabs going all across the top of the magenta concrete and it is going to end up looking something like this now there is a wall that is going to be behind it that is relatively similar but not in a way you would expect so we're gonna go ahead and grab our coarse dirt and where we are going to go ahead and just start placing our our blocks so first we're just going to place one two three four core start here we're then going to go ahead and make we're it's basically two layers on the whole thing so it's going to be two layers here so it's going to basically just keep repeating down just like this this part is only going to be one layer until it gets right about to here so it will end up looking like this and then this part here we should you know i should probably put in the walls first actually so these the walls are going to first of all let's just place around it so the walls are going to end up looking like this they're going to come around here and for now we're going to stop right about here and this is going to come one more block forward and then we're going to come one more block upward this is going to come all the way across we're gonna stop right there. We can bring our chorus dirt, chorus dirt forward, or chorus dirt. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. Um, it should look, end up, it should end up looking like this. Uh, let's move this one block back. We'll bring it up by one, two, three. Then we'll do the same thing. One, two, three, and then we'll do probably one and two. Yeah, probably one, two. Then we'll do another one, two. Or you know what? We'll do one, and then one, two, three, and that we'll just line it up right there. Or you know what? There's something I'm missing, I think. Oh, I know. So this part is gonna come up two again, then it's gonna come down by one, and then two. So it's going to end up looking like this. It's not going to go completely. This will continue expanding out a bit, but we're not on that part yet. So now we can just go ahead and fill in this part with our chorus dirt and right up to there now we are going to go ahead and raise up these magenta walls all the way up to the very top right here do not expend sorry do not expand these neon lights we're going to change these up in just a minute because they are a little bit different but just raise these walls up right here and i will be right back 
And there we go. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like once it is finished. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our light blue and pink concrete. We're gonna just gonna we're gonna break some of these blocks. And with our light blue concrete, we're gonna go ahead and come one, two, three blocks up. On the fourth block, we're gonna go ahead and place one, two, three. We're then gonna place one, one, two, one, one, two, and then we're gonna go ahead and place one, one, two. We can go ahead and just replace the rest of this with our magenta concrete. And it should end up looking just like this. Now we're gonna get rid of some of the pink concrete. Because the, these neon lights kind of curve down a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and just place our stained glass. So it should look like this. Now our pink concrete, we're gonna go ahead and place one block right here. We're then gonna place one, two, one. Then we're gonna place one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two just like that and then with our pink glass or pink stained glass panes just place these along the pink concrete like this and you should should end up with something that looks like this now we're gonna go ahead and move on to this side and do this side and then we will just finish this whole wall here and we will finish this episode finally so let's go ahead and go over here on this turn this is going to end up being one two three one two three and then this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. This is what it should end up looking like. We not we don't go by twos, we went by threes. Then this is five blocks. Then this is going to end up being one. This is one, then one. And then we're gonna go ahead and go by one, two, one, two, one, two again. And then lastly it is one, two, three, which is where it lines up. Up, the, uh, up along that wall and we'll just go ahead and bring this for now just right to there because we will raise up this wall eventually and that is what it will end up looking like so now we're gonna go ahead and let's see I think we're gonna raise these up so we're standing from here I think we're gonna do the exact same height so we, we raised it up by one two and three this should be the height so it's gonna be four blocks in total so just add three blocks on top of all of this and we will stop right here now once we have that, we can go ahead and grab our purple slabs and place these all along the top, just like this. And we'll stop right about there. Now this is where we are going to need our chorister, and we're going to go ahead and make this little path here along with the wall that comes behind this. So let's go ahead and come over to this side here. And we're going to first going to grab our chorister, and right along here we're going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, along with 1, 2, 3. So it should end up looking, let's see if we face this way, uh, we'll add one here, we'll come down, we'll add something like this, um, this is also going to end up being, I think, three blocks, one, whoops, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, it's going to look a little bit different than the others, but that is fine, um, let's see, I think we do something like this, we'll then go ahead and do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, same thing. Um, we're just gonna repeat this one two three one two three one two three just bring it out by three no. and this part is going to be a little bit different uh, with uh, we're just gonna bring this out until it ends up right here so this is one two three this is one two and three this is one two and three and we'll just place one block there how can I do this so I know um, let's okay so from this part one two three let's just get rid of this so Something that ends up looking like this. Um, this part is also going to end up being one, two, and three, I believe. And we're just going to bring these out each by three. One, two, and three. So something like this. And then this part is going to be a little bit different. So for now, we're going to bring out this wall. And just bring your magenta just around the, all of the choristers. So this was just going to all. This is just going to go on the outside. And we're going to stop actually right there, because this is where things are going to get a little different. We're going to go ahead and go by one, two, and we're just going to bring this out, because this is going to be two blocks of chorister instead of three. So this is going to come out, we'll stop like right there, and the chorister is just going to line up. I think, okay, wait. Wait, no, because if I bring this up by one, then one, two, that will be three. Okay, so we're going to keep it just like this. And just bring this wall right up to there. And we'll bring our chorus dirt right up to here. 
Now what we're going to do is just bring up all of these walls once again. So raise these walls all the way up to the top with your gray concrete on top. And then we're going to go ahead and change up these um, neon lights because they are a little bit different, similar to those over there. So first of all, go ahead and raise these walls up real quick. And I, oh, and also go uh, raise this wall up. So this wall down here, right here, raise it up until it gets to this point. So raise this wall up and the walls up here, and I will be right back. All right, there we go. I have raised up this wall down here and the main walls right up here. Now that we have this part complete, we're going to go ahead and change up some of these neon lights. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of some of the glass panes and fill this spot up with magenta concrete. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab our pink concrete first, and we're going to come down to here and skip one, two, three blocks up. The fourth block is where we're going to place one, two. We're then going to place one, one, two, one, two, one, one, two. Actually, you know what? No, it is then one 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 and then one that's that part and then the blue neon light we're gonna skip two blocks up two we're gonna skip two oh, wait a minute i know what i did wrong hold on that's why it seems so off this is three blocks then it is one one two one two one 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 and then for the blue concrete we're gonna skip one block up above and then we're gonna place one two blocks here we're then going to place one two one one two one one, wait, sorry. One, two, one, one, two, one, 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 two. So it will end up looking like this a little bit closer together than the other side, but that's still fine. Then with your um, uh, stained glass panes, just go ahead and line all these up or place them all along the lights. And there we go. We now have this side and this side complete. Last thing we need to do is just fill up this wall in the back and we will be done. So to get started, what we're going to do we're going to grab our magenta concrete, and this whole wall back here, so here's what you're going to do. We're just going to start by raising up this wall down here, go over the door, and we're going to grab our black concrete and our warped door. Because we're not getting to Rockstar Row, we're placing a door with black concrete behind it. So that's what, it, we're, it's, that's what it's going to end up looking like. This wall down here, we're going to do the exact same thing. Just raise this up until it gets to this point. And since, oh wait a minute, uh, there is one small mistake, kind of. Uh, we're going to get rid of these three, um, those three blocks and just fill up this area with our magenta concrete powder. This part here is where the wall will actually line up. We can go ahead and just bring this up right to there. And the magenta concrete wall is just going to line up perfectly here. So what you are going to do, this whole wall, you're only going to come to be this height. You're going to follow along with everything here. And you are going to fill up this entire wall that goes over the whole entire stage and the curtain. So it's going to come all the way up to here. This is the point I want you to stop at. Do not go above this because there is some other extra stuff that we still do need to add. So you're going to come all the way over here. And we'll stop right Whoops. at, at this point. This is where we're going to come out by 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3. So this is what you're going to do, just pretend that this part doesn't exist, and you're just going to raise up these walls all down here, and all over here, you're going to raise it up exactly to this height. I'll show you what it looks like when it is done, just in case you, just in case you are a little bit confused. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this, whole link, fill this whole wall in real quick, and I will be right back. Alright, this is what the finished product for this wall should look like. It should be f completely filled up to exactly this point, and all filled up here. Up above, this is what it looks like from up above, so we have room to place some more chorus dirt, and for the extra walls when we, get, when we get to there. So, what we are going to do now, is continue placing our chorus dirt. So what we're going to do, we have stopped right at this point on this block. What we're going to do is, first of all, just grab our purper, purple slabs and just place extra slabs until it gets to right here and we're going to go ahead and extend this wall this is going to this is going to come down by one two so this is going to you know what? okay so this is going to whoops all right so this is going to end up being three blocks wide now this point down here is going to end up being two blocks and then this point is just going to go all the way to the end just go completely all the way to the other side let's just stop right here just for now until we get that point connected which i think is almost there so now on this point we're just going to bring our chorus door forward and we're going to stop right about here 
So at this point, this is a little bit different. This comes out about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I think. I think that goes out around 15 blocks, so we have room for a palm tree and two spotlights. And we're just going to bring our purple slabs all the way up, and it's going to stop here. And we're going to have two more magenta concrete, and this is going to curve into the end. And then with our chorus dirt, just go ahead and fill in this whole spot. And there we go. Now, the rest of this, we will fill in um, just completely with magenta concrete. But for now, moving on to this side, we're going to bring in this wall here. So this is going to end up lining up at some point on um, that side. So now we are going to go ahead and just bring this wall all the way out until right here. And then bring it down one. And that will line it up exactly with that end. So we can go ahead and bring this all along this end until it lines up perfectly there. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're we going to bring our coarse dirt out and right here we're going to do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're going to stop right about there and bring just fill in the rest of the coarse dirt. Now with our purple slabs we're just going to go ahead and place these all along the edge. And right here this is where it is going to curve into the wall. And then the rest will be just filled in using magenta concrete. So this will be a completely flat surface up here, and you won't really be able to see anything. There we go. Now the last thing you need to do is just fill up this wall, and then add, a, add your um, gray concrete on top of it. And then there's one last thing that we are going to add on both sides of the main currents. So go ahead, fill up this wall real quick, and I will be right back. Alright, there we go. Now all of the walls for the entire main atrium part are fully complete. One last thing before we end the episode, we're gonna grab our blue terracotta, or sorry, gray, no, blue terracotta, and we're gonna go ahead and come down to this end right here. We're going to skip two blocks from here and place one, two, three, and bring out by one, two. So it's going to be a three by three, and this is going to come out to this point right here. No, sorry, right here, right above the very end of that black concrete. Then you're going to go ahead and bring it out by one more layer, and it's one, um, we're skipping one block. And then this, this layer here is going to come all the way out and skip one more block just like that. This whole section here will be filled up with our blue terracotta. And fill it up to right about there. That's what this point should end up looking like. Now what we're going to need, last thing, we're going to need our bars. We're going to need our black concrete and our coal, our coal block. What we're going to do, we're going to come to this end right here, and we are going to go ahead and just place one, two, three, four. I believe it is right here. And we are literally going to place one, two, three, four. We're then going to place one, two, three. So, so um, three layers, uh, three by two of coal, then four, and then one, two, three, one, two, and then one, two, three, and then one, two. So those are the speakers that are going to be on this side. I believe there are four, or am I getting this all wrong? This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be three by three. So, sorry, no, two by three. So this, we're gonna, gonna add one extra layer on the side, and our bars, just like that. So these are the actual speakers, and I believe one, two, three. I think there is one more extra layer right here that we are going to add. So the speakers are right down to there, and this is what it should end up looking like. Now we're going to just do this exact same thing just onto this side. So if we come over to this side here, we're going to go ahead and skip two blocks down and place. We're going to, we're going to place one, two, three, and then two more out. So this is three by three, and this is going to come out the exact same length, and we're going to stop right there. Then we're going to place one extra layer right about here, and then one more layer right there. Now we're just going to fill this whole area in with our blue terracotta. And right there we go. Now we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on this side, so we're going to come right down to here and place one, two, three, one, two, three, and then place one, or one, uh, we're going to place six black concrete, and then three layers of coal six black concrete, and then three layers of coal, six black concrete, three layers of coal, 
And lastly, six black concrete with six more layers of coal. And then black concrete just sitting right below it. And there we go. We now have the actual speakers that sit on the side. And I think that concludes this episode of building the Mega Pizza Plex in Minecraft. This has taken a long time to do. I know it really has. And it really is difficult too, especially with the especially how with how big it is. I know my upload schedule is terrible, but this is mainly the reason why. It takes forever to do stuff like this. But finally, we have the very first episode of building the walls for the main atrium all complete. Alright, that about wraps it up for building the first part of the walls for the atrium. The next video will be finishing the walls by building the sub-lobbies to Fazer Blast, Roxy Raceway, Kids Cove, Monty Golf, and Chica's Bakery. Then after that we will move on to decorating the atrium, which I already know will take a long time. But that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to keep up with building the atrium. I hope that you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.